Hi, this is Connor from Omni. Omni is the business intelligence and embedded analytics platform that brings together the trustworthiness of a governed data model with the freedom to instantly extend and iterate on that model. With Omni, data teams can move fast while empowering their business and their customers with data. Here's a quick look at how Omni works. We'll start on a built-out dashboard showing some product, user, and order data. You can see there are lots of ways to present your data from familiar line and bar charts, KPI tiles, and even markdown tiles that let you get creative and build custom visualizations. It's easy for me to filter this data, so I can come in here, add a filter for the US. I can drill into any of these metrics if I wanted to see more detail. And I can even jump to another Omni dashboard or website by clicking this link here. Now, let's say I wanted to add some analysis into this dashboard. I'll jump into the workbook that's powering the dashboard, create a new tab to start analyzing, and I'll start working within this order transactions data set. Order transactions is what we call a topic, which is a curated set of data put together by the data team. The joins between all of these tables have already been defined. So as an end user, I can freely pull from any of these tables. Now the fields in this field picker are a combination of fields native to the underlying database, as well as additional fields built on top of that by our data team. If I wanted to see the number of order transactions per month, I could just grab this month field and the order transactions count field. Then to visualize this data, I can flip to the chart view and Omni's already started us off with a line chart here, but I could easily make that into a bar chart by going to the options. I can make that into a scatter plot as well, or any of these other chart types. If I wanted to filter this down, I can go back to the results view, right click this created at month field and add a filter for the past 12 months. There we go. I can also easily pivot this data. So for example, I could pivot on this status field to see our order items broken out by status like this. Now, up to this point, I've been querying data that's already been built for me, but let's say I want to create a new field myself. Let me pop open a fresh tab and I'll get us started with the month field that we were using before. Now, I want to see the total margin of items per month, but that total margin field doesn't exist yet. I can quickly create it by going to the margin field here, right clicking and hitting the sum option. And that's gonna give us this margin sum field, both in our query and in the field picker. So I can use this field throughout the workbook. I can then visualize this and see the total margin over time. Another thing that would be helpful here is a line for the moving average to sort of smooth out the curve. So to calculate that, we can come back to the data table, insert a column to the right, and then use some familiar Excel syntax to easily spin that up. So I'll do average B1 through B7. Great, and then I can make that a currency field. Then if we flip back to our visualization, switch to the line chart view, then we can see that moving average field overlaid on top of the margin sum field. Let's say we wanna get even more granular here and look at the month over month change. I could try to figure out the Excel formula for that, or I could ask AI to write it for us. So let me go back to the results tab. I'll insert a new column, pop open this AI wizard and ask it to calculate the month over month change in margin. And there we go. It's helping us write this Excel formula and I can convert this to a percentage and there's our month over month percentage change. This accelerates our workflow in Omni, letting us focus on what question we're trying to answer rather than the exact syntax that we need. If I wanted some more help getting my query started, I can also pop open this AI querying tab on the side, and I can ask a question about my data in natural language. So for example, I'll do show me sales from the past 12 months. And because I have this curated data model, our AI query helper can form an understanding of my data and actually produce reliable results. This helps business users who need quick answers use AI as a starting point, and then they can add in more fields from the field picker, write Excel calcs like I just did, or create charts just like any other Omni query. 
The last thing I'll point out here is that under the hood, all of these queries have been powered by SQL. So if I scroll to the right here and pop open the SQL tab, you can see the underlying SQL being written. If I prefer to just write SQL directly, I can come in here and edit the SQL. So let me just add a count distinct order ID as count orders. I'll run that query. And then Omni is gonna recognize that new field that I wrote and add it to my query down here. Now, all of the changes I've made so far are specific to this workbook. But if I wanna make any of these changes more broadly available, I can go into the workbook model changes section here, and I can choose what I wanna promote into the shared data model for the rest of my team to see. So for example, if I were to promote this margin sum field I created into the shared model, then when I open a new workbook, I'd be able to use this margin sum field as well. If I wanna see the code base representation of all the changes I've been making, I can also pop open the IDE, switch to this model view, which only shows changes extended from the shared model, and then go to our order items view. You can see that Omni's been recording the changes we've been making in that workbook interface in code here. So this means that you don't have to be super technical to meaningfully add to your data model. And if you are technical, Omni can help you make these changes faster and more easily than you'd be able to by typing these out manually. While I'm here, I'll also show you some of Omni's dbt integration. I'll flip back to the combined view, and you can see that for this order items table, Omni is pulling in some metadata like this view description, there's a field description, and if I scroll all the way down, I can also see the SQL used to create this dbt model. So I don't have to jump into dbt to remind myself what this table represents. Our integration is also bi-directional, so you can push any table you've made in Omni down to dbt. Let me flip back to the workbook here, and on this table that we've been working with that I created in Omni, I can hit this push to dbt button, which will give me the SQL to create this table as a dbt model. And I can edit the SQL directly. So for example, I could change th this field label to just say orders. And I can also include any ginger references like this one here, letting dbt know that this new dbt model is built off this existing order items model. Then I'll hit push and Omni will automatically open a PR for me, which makes the workflow between your dbt layer and your bi layer much faster. And these are just a few of the ways we've designed Omni to speed you up when working with dbt. All right, let me flip back to our workbook. So we made this table, we can view it as a chart, and now let's see it up on our dashboard. So when I hit this dashboard button up here, we'll go back to the dashboard view that we started with, and we'll see our new charts down here. If I wanna share this dashboard with my team, there are a few ways I could do that. If I'm sharing it internally, I can just open up the share modal and share the link, or I can share it with an individual person like a Google Doc. Or I could schedule it to be delivered by email, Slack channel, or even a webhook by setting up a new delivery here. And if folks are interested in diving deeper into a specific tile, they can click here and download the data as a CSV or Excel file for themselves. You can also embed Omni dashboards like this in other applications like Salesforce, so you have the data right there in your existing workflows. You can even build your own data products with Omni, like this embedded dashboard here. The way this works is you build out a dashboard in Omni, and then you can share it directly with your customers in your own application so they can access their own data. You can customize the branding as well as enforce access controls to ensure that customers are only seeing the data that they should be. Okay, <laughs> that was our lightning fast tour of Omni. Omni's modern approach to BI lets you interact with your data how you want to, whether that's querying from a predefined data model or building new analyses with SQL, Excel, or AI. And our layered architecture lets you work quickly while distilling reusable logic to the rest of your team. If you'd like to learn more, sign up for a demo at omni.co demo, and we hope to chat with you soon.